kickoff. Welcome back and good evening. Thanks a lot, Susan, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. Give me a call tonight. Tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. How about we have Bucko Fever again? The Pirates walk it off tonight. And actually, I mean, if you're looking for a positive, uh, you have to be happy with the way Mitch Keller pitched tonight. And he uh, goes six innings, nine strikeouts. Uh, you know, gave up a few hits in one run, but it was a positive pitching performance for Mitch Keller tonight. Um, something maybe to give you some optimism for next year if he's going to be one of your third, fourth, fifth starters next year. Um, probably his best outing here in the majors, no doubt about that. Um, and especially uh, he did it coming off a horrible uh, game on Sunday against the Cubs. And then Pablo Reyes walks it off in the ninth inning. The Pirates scored two runs in the ninth inning to go on and beat the Reds tonight, 3-2. to two. We'll show you highlights a little bit later in the show. And the Steelers wrapped up their final practice of the week on the south side today. Ben Roethlisberger will start Sunday's game in Tennessee. We will be there covering the game. As for the backup quarterback, who will that be? That's anyone's guess. It's still up in the air. Mike Tomlin would not commit to either start either having Mason Rudolph or Josh Dobbs as the backup on Sunday and still not committing if, you know, one or the other will even play. So, you know, if Mason Rudolph comes in, we might not see Josh Dobbs. If Josh Dobbs, come in, Dobbs comes in, we might not see Mason Rudolph. Um, you know, that's a, the, any scenario, any and all scenarios are on the table uh, with who's playing after Ben Roethlisberger. But we're more than likely going to see the entire first-team offense out there for, what, 15, 20 snaps, from what I understand, um, a few series. And depending on how the game goes, it could be the whole first quarter. Um, it could be, you know, two series, and Ben's out of there. I doubt Ben is going to play any more than two series, uh, no matter what the Steelers do, uh, considering, I mean, if you look across the league and what happened, it, it, Cam Newton's a prime example. Steelers are playing Carolina next week. Cam Newton had to leave that game in the first quarter with a mild sprain in his foot. Um, are cautiously optimistic he'll be ready for week one. But, you know, that's the last thing you want. You, you, that would be a, a disaster if someone like Ben Roethlisberger gets hurt in a meaningless third preseason game. Get him in there. Uh, make sure you keep him clean, no sacks. Uh, y you know, let him throw the ball around, knock off a little bit of rust, uh, playing with the first team like James Conner. Um, but get him out of there. Get everyone out of there after the first quarter and play the guys that you're hoping that make this team, the guys that you want to see, the guys that are on the bubble, see what they can do against some of the Tennessee starters or second team players. You want to see if your guys that, that are on the bubble can play with these guys. So, you know, that's probably more than likely what the Steelers' approach is going to be. Uh, the other thing Tomlin did talk a little bit about was the kicking situation. They're not going to rotate every other kicking situation. Uh, every kick, like they did the last two preseason games, he's going to give one kicker the first half and one kicker the second half. I did ask him uh, if who's going to be the starting kicker in the game, and he said he doesn't know yet, or it's still up in the air, and they haven't made that decision yet. So, you know, it's been very secretive heading into this preseason game, but the Steelers did treat this week like a regular season week, which was good. Uh, the only difference this week is they, they didn't quite game plan as much, and they have 90 guys compared to 60 uh, during a regular season game. So we can call in to talk about the Steelers, 412-575-2600. Also, the battle in Buccos and Mitch Keller. Are you excited after tonight, after seeing Mitch Keller pitch against the Reds? Does that give you any kind of hope for next year's rotation? Because we probably know what it's going to be. Uh, all the guys are on the team. They're not going to go out and get any of those free agents that we talked about last night. 412-575-2600. You can always reach out to me on Twitter at Richie Walsh. Back in a couple minutes.